There is a story in the ancient Indian epic Mahabharata of Ekalabya. Now, Ekalabya was deeply passionate about archery. It so happened that he belonged to the peasant class and uh, the greatest archery teacher at the time was Dronacharya. And Dronacharya refused to teach Ekalabya because he was not nobility. And Dronacharya's prized student was someone called Arjuna who was the best archer at the time. But Ekalavya wanted to learn archery so badly, so desperately and from Dronacharya, he was actually sneaking through the forest and looking at the archery practice. And then he actually built a mud statue of his ideal teacher, Dronacharya, and pretended like Dronacharya was teaching him just through that mud statue. And he became really, really, really good to the point where he became even better than Arjuna. When Dronacharya saw this, saw that there was somebody out there who was better than his prized student Arjuna, he met with Ekalavya. Ekalavya prostrated and said, you know, you're my master. And Dronacharya said, well, if I'm your master, then you have to give me some form of payment. And Ekalavya said, sure, master, anything. And the master said, I'll take your thumb. And right there, Ekalavya cut his thumb and gave it to his master. And from then on, Although Ekalavya was a good soldier and a good archer, he was nowhere near the best. I say this story because we're all going through this collective heaviness right now. Anybody who's at all decent and has seen that video must be feeling very heavy inside. And I've been guiding these meditation and dialogue circles with some amazing people and there's a clear, clear feeling of some really heavy emotion, anger, frustration, guilt, shame, and so much more. And if I really dig down deep as to why this is happening, well, there's a fundamental need. And that need is, I wanna feel safe in this world. I wanna be a part of this world too. I don't wanna walk around with my thumb cut off. There's the colored people in the world. There are the women in the Me Too movement. There's the LGBTQ community. There's also the people with little to no voice, like the children, or the elderly, or the planet, and all the beautiful beings and creatures in the planet that other people give voice to. And all of them are saying, hey, don't separate me, include me. I'm a part of this. Yes, it's unique. Like the human body has unique organs, but together they create one living system. We are a part of the same living system. And the living system is only as strong as its weakest part. And there are too many weak parts in this living system. This is why healing is so important. Healing is coming back to wholeness. That's the root of the word to heal, to come back to wholeness. That's what the new story is crying out for. Now, some people are saying, hey, it's artificially stimulated to create a race war. Most of us, if not all of us, don't want to fight. We're just tired of moving around society with a thumb cut out. Tired of subscribing to a social contract that we've all agreed upon that has been absolutely disregarded and somehow we're continuing this fake facade of conformity. It's getting old. This separation, division, it's getting old. And what's it based on? The color of someone's skin, their physical appearance, their gender, their sexual preference, their geographical location, their age. These are just random things. In our heart of hearts, we know that we have no say over these things. What bizarre, peculiar, unfair thing to make judgments and decisions on. It's time has come. It's time to put all that to rest. It's time to shift from that story of division to inclusion, from separation to wholeness from either or to also and. And it matters because when there's heaviness in my heart and there's heaviness in your heart, we're not getting the best of each other. We're not being the best version of ourselves. We are fundamentally compromised with division and separation. And the same mindset and heart set that got us into this mess will not get us out of it. And the way we are continuing right now is simply unsustainable. This is not about fighting. It's a plea. It's a plea to change the story. From separation to inclusion.